This is what you want to look for. That's the cabbage moth worm. By the time you see this kind of damage, it's far too late and things are out of control. Now right here is one of the simplest things that you'll probably be surprised at, and this is cornmeal. You can take your water and just spray it on top of your leaves and then go behind it, take the cornmeal, sprinkle it on top of the leaves, and you wouldn't believe how effective this can be when controlling the cabbage worm. Now, the reason why this works is as the cabbage worm feeds on that cornmeal, it basically swells them up and they implode from the inside. In this oil, we have some rosemary, some lemon thyme, as well as lavender. Now there's a common denominator in all of these herbs that's in this oil. They all have rosemarinic acid. Rosemarinic acid can be just as effective as neem oil. Now what BT is, is an active bacteria that's already in your soil. When you spray this on your plants, the cabbage worm feeds on your plants. It affects the digestive system on the cabbage worms, causing them to stop feeding, stop mating, and then ultimately, your problem solved. Here's another option, 100% cold pressed neem oil. Now this works very similar to the way that BT does in that the cabbage worm ingests this through eating the leaves. It affects their digestive system, causing them to stop feeding, stop breeding, and ultimately slowing the speed of the infestation of the cabbage worm. Now everything that we're talking about today are meant to be options. The more you know, the more you grow.